Earl Spencer burns with rage dumps Meg in awful secret as deliberately insult Queen after she's dead. Princess Diana's brother Charles Spencer has paid a heartfelt tribute to Her Majesty the Queen after she passed away on 8 September aged 96. The 58-year-old posted a tribute to the monarch on his Instagram. Without sharing a caption, he simply shared a photo of the monarch in her coronation gown. The official announcement about Her Majesty's passing read, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Tributes also flooded in, with King Charles III writing, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held. On 8 September Buckingham Palace released an official statement which read, Following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. The Queen remains comfortable and at Balmoral. Members of the royal family such as Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke of Cambridge travelled to Balmoral Castle as soon as they received the news, to be by Her Majesty's bedside. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were already in the UK when the news broke to the public about the concern over the Queen's health. In August, Charles marked 25 years to the day since Princess Diana tragically died in Paris. The Earl posted a somber photo of a Union Jack flying at half-mast on the top of Princess Diana's childhood home, Althorpe House. Flying a flag at half-mast is seen as a sign of respect when someone passes away, and Buckingham Palace received a huge backlash at the time when the flag wasn't lowered in the wake of the tragic news. However, the flag did then fly at half-mast for Diana's funeral and then again on the anniversary of her death. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal future seems to also be of interest. As per the evening standard, no major title changes are in store for the Sussexes, even as Prince Harry's father Charles is now the monarch and will be referred to as King Charles III. As King Charles' son, Prince Harry's titles remain unchanged, although his brother Prince William is now Duke of Cornwall in addition to his previous title of Duke of Cambridge. Prince Harry has, however, moved up the line of succession and is now fifth in line to the throne. More major changes are predicted for Prince Harry's children though, especially as they are now the grandchildren of the reigning monarch. While Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana were not born entitled to the title of a prince and princess, they are now entitled to the titles as their grandfather Charles is now the king. It remains unknown at the time whether Prince Harry and Meghan's kids will ever use their official prince and princess titles, or forego them. As for Prince Harry and Meghan, they are last understood to have met the Queen in June when they visited the UK to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee. Thank you.